All right, I think we are getting ready to roll here. I always say that when we're starting off. I never know if I'm going live or when I'm going live, but I think we should be good just about here. Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and we're here with some more Pokemon Conquest live stream here on the channel. Hello to Dazzling Shell 101. Welcome to the stream tonight. As we continue our quest in the uh, post-game story called The Way of the Warrior, where the non-main warlord people are trying to conquer the uh, kingdoms just to see how well can they do. So, currently, I've finished all of our troops for the month of yesterday's gameplay. What should we call it? Yester month's gameplay, I, I suppose. But, we are ready to go on to the next month, which will take us into September of our first year. And I've been looking at the map as far as where I want to go next. I think the next place, well clearly, we got Pugilus and we have Chrysalia. So the next two kingdoms along the path are going to be Terrera and Elusio. I think the best thing to do is to try to push onward into... Pu oh, sorry, Terrera... F yeah, Terrera first. The reason is, if we take over Elusio and we uh, leave Terrera at where it is, it can attack either Elusio, Pugilus, or... See, there's a path heading up here to Chrysalia. It can attack any of those three. But... If we push from Pugilus into Terrera, then all we gotta do is make sure Terrera and Chrysalia are defended, because Illusio cannot reach Pugilus. There's mountains in the way, so that's gonna be our best bet. We can take one kingdom at a time. Hello, Isaac Wolf, the Fire Striker. How's it going? Not overall too bad. There were some issues yesterday. If anyone was not aware, I tried to uh, prepare for the Pokemon Go Trainer Battle live stream. I found out at the last minute that my phone is so far beyond function, I guess. I can't connect it to the computer anymore, so we cannot live stream Pokemon Go. I can still do pre-recorded stuff, but we couldn't do a live stream. But I am going to be getting a new phone at some point. I'll talk more about this as you know the stream goes on here, just to keep you surprised of uh, what's going on on the channel. Another bit of technical difficulties we'll have to discuss, and I'll let you know that as time goes on. But for the time being, let's focus on what we're going to do here. So I've already done everybody's month or, you know, turn for the month, basically. So, we're going to wait and see what kind of craziness happens with all these kingdoms. Do we get attacked? Do they get attacked? What's going to go down? Let's go to next month right now, go into September. All right. Let's see what happens. Kanatsugu is attacking Gracie's kingdom of Spectra. Are they fighting back and forth here? I think they're trying to... Victory! So, Kanatsugu has pushed armor, so that means Gracie is only in... Nick Storm right now. Oh, looks like they're taking it right back. Oh, this place, that's cool. I like having to sit back and watch these happen too. Oh, Gracie took it back. All right. <laughs> Hanbei is attacking Kai's kingdom and Cragspur. Oh, coming from two kingdoms. That might be bad. <coughs> Excuse me. They got it. They got three kingdoms now. And Munishige is attacking Viperia. Now, are they gonna come after me at any point? Just victories all around here. Kai is attacking Avia. <laughs> uh, I kind of like this though. There's a loss. Okay, someone finally had to lose one of these. Nope, we didn't get attacked. How about that? So, as I say, uh, we want to take Terrera as our next target. So this is Kai. Where's Kai? At? Kai is also up here. So we're not going to be able to probably get the. Uh, the warlords to join us. But let's just see who is in here. I see. Well, there's Kai right there. She also has Maguichi as well. I don't know. He might want to join us if we can super effective knock out his Carnivine. I don't think... I wouldn't count on it because they do have another kingdom they can retreat to. So I would think we would just want to go in and try to uh, conquer this place. Uh, I see a significant number of weaknesses to ground and water. So we might want to bring something like that. So let me refresh myself. Who do we have in our kingdoms? Uh, let us march. Let's just march everybody to the front lines. We can put three of these here in Pugilus so we can arrange ourselves, basically. And move the rest of these on upward to uh, Chrysala. So let's see who we have to work with. Dazzling Shell, so speaking of phones, last Christmas you got a new phone. Pretty soon you're going to use YouTube on that and sell the current phone you got there. You can watch videos on both, but you put Netflix on your new one. Sounds cool. You know, Netflix is so popular and so everywhere these days. I actually don't have Netflix. I just watch all my stuff through YouTube, basically. 
I find I don't watch a lot of newer content from people, not all the time. I, li I like to go back and watch older playthroughs of things that just, you know, games that interest me and stuff. So, let's take a look here. Well, I definitely want to get our new... Actually, yeah, let's talk about this. We did get another Warlord to join us, Hanzo, I believe, with his uh, Spirit Tomb last time. Spirit Tomb's energy is a little bit on the lower side, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time getting him up to speed. But he has a 90% link with Spirit Tomb, which is pretty cool. Alright, so who do I want to bring in? Let me take a look. First of all, let's see the power of Terrera. It is 538. Uh, a few weaknesses to Steel, so Steelix might be okay. I definitely want to bring our Quagsire, though. Thing to fear would be the Carnivai, but I could bring Charizard and try to uh, toast that nicely. What else would be good to bring in? We see a couple of Grass weaknesses, too, so perhaps our new buddy with his... Whimsicott might be good. Uh, hello to Owen Bird. Welcome to our live stream tonight for some Pokemon Conquest. We're currently in the post game, doing one of the uh, stories for. What's your name again? What's what's my guy's name? Yukimura. I can never remember my own characters, but we're trying to take over the uh, Ransai region using the not main Warlord characters, and things are going kind of okay-ish for the time being. So I think what we're gonna do, I'm going to bring our Whimsicott down here as well. And I don't want to bring every single person. What I want to do, I'm gonna actually march. Let's get, I think maybe these two. I mean, I could bring Kunoichi because she's got some. Yeah, she's got some super effective as well. Maybe we'll just uh, march our Spirit Tomb dude out of the way. Set him up here for the time being, and then I'll start organizing people afterwards. But then the other thing, well, you know what? I was going to say, the other thing, I don't want to leave Pugilus undefended, because if we all go here, someone could attack Pugilus. I just completely forgot. The reason we're going here is because nobody can get to Pugilus, other than Terrera and our other kingdoms. So, we don't need to worry about defending Pugilus. Just recently, Dazzling Show, you watched Mr. Bean's Holiday on Netflix. It's been some time since you've seen that movie. Was that... Was that the one that they... I forget what year it was made, but was it when he came to America and was due with Whistler's mother's painting? That's the only Mr. Bean movie that I can remember, to be completely honest. I've seen, you know, some Mr. Bean footage and content, but nothing that really sticks out in my mind. I mean, other than when he was trying to stuff that turkey for, I think, one of the Christmas specials he was doing. Alright, so the power is 538. We are at 1026. We probably don't need to bring all these characters, to be completely honest. So... I'm still going to do it. Let's take a look at who we have to work with here. I made sure the equipment is good. We've got ourselves, well not ourselves, but our main guy Yukimura with his Charizard. Maximum potential link, 90%. We've got Kunoichi with her Scrafty. Again, 90% possible maximum. 90% maximum link with Steelix here with uh, Taram... What is your name? Tarakatsu. We've got a decent link here with Quagsire and Ina. And this guy here, Sad Atoshi. He's very sad. He has Whimsicott who has a potential 100% link think we are ready to go. This might be a big piece of cake. Now, Terrera, I remember this kingdom. It's where you got to get on top of the towers and take those banners. But again, if we can take down all of the opponents, we don't need to worry about them taking banners back from us. <laughs> where do you want to uh, march from? Why does it default us back to here? B team. Uh-uh. We're taking A team in here. Well, you know what? I might not want to bring all of us, all four of these, or all five of these characters, because with uh, Persalia being on the front lines as well, I want to have more to defend, probably there. So, definitely want to bring Charizard, want to bring Quagsire. I think... I'm going to go with this. I'm going to leave K uh, Kunoichi back for the time being. She's going to help defend Persalia once we are all well in there. All said and done. I'm ready to begin the battle against Terrera. Indeed. Let's do this. None can stop me, no matter how many they number. And let's do this into Terrera. Hello to Jennifer Vlogs1. Flexin' in the chat with your eight shiny Psyduck. But very good. Very good. Congratulations. I haven't seen any yet myself. But I'm more relaxed and uh, I pace myself more with like the shiny hunting. 
but I did just actually post on my Twitter and Instagram before starting the stream. A cool little thing that I did pick up was uh, I traded with my fellow professor at my local Pokemon League. He was waiting to get a Magikarp to evolve for his Mew research. He hasn't finished the Mew research yet. And to get his first Gyarados, he actually wanted to wait until we hit Best Friends, and he had the Stardust needed to for me to trade him one of my extra shiny Magikarp. So I asked for a Suicune in return, and lo and behold, they both became lucky. I have a lucky Suicune in Pokemon Go. That is kind of cool. And he had himself a lucky shiny Magikarp, which he's evolved into shiny Gyarados. Lucky, of course. He gave it the extra charge move, so he's good to roll. Alright, speaking of good to roll, let's roll out, but not transform, so we don't have Ditto. Or Mew. Alright, we just gotta claim the three banners. I think it's... We have to hold them for a while, or just claim them? I don't recall. But I see Carnivine's going the right way for us. We're going to send Charizard up in that direction. Although I got to be careful that Larvitar has Rock Team. So I want to be very cautious to deal with that. Show you how a ninja fights. In comes the Rhyhorn. Hiding! Oh, ninjas like to hide. See that? Hiding behind that tower. All right, what is our eagle eye, our ability? Okay, so let's just head up this way. I wonder if I can attack these trees. I find on some of the other fields, you can actually attack the trees that are in the area and get items out of them. Okay, where is that? Oh, there's the Pansage, or Pansier right there, so that might be a bit of a problem. But we'll work with what we can do. Ah, uh, Dazzling Shell's asking, in Pokemon Go, what's the difference between a regular Pokemon and a lucky Pokemon? Not really that much. Basically, all it is, a lucky Pokemon takes half the required Stardust to power up to make the, uh, the levels go stronger and the CP increase. You can destroy the trees. Okay, thanks for letting me know there, Pantsier. So, if it takes, like, say, a thousand Stardust to make your Pokemon CP go up, a lucky Pokemon will only take 500. That is basically the only difference. Visually, they look the same, except their background has a nice glowy, sparkly, lucky effect. And I think that's it. Nothing else applies yet. I'm wondering if eventually they might have some sort of feature where only lucky Pokemon can access certain maybe aspects of the game. I don't know. But as of right now... Oh, Wind Gust is blown. Get off that tower. There you go. Get off that tower. There you go. Oh, uh, I got flinched. When did that happen? Uh, hello to Sailor Pika. Welcome to our conquest stream for the evening. Let's see if we can take over the kingdom of Terrera. Uh, well, we can't really hit that thing just yet. I'm going to bust this tree down, though. And not too bad as far as the fact that it didn't really hurt us that badly, our grass type. Nah, we'll keep the potion for now. All right. So, what now? Mighty Blue's not going to help us. Let's head up this way. All right, now let's. Can we drop this thing? Yeah, 120. Unless we miss. Come on, shackle. Yep. Down goes the Rhyhorn. At least. Now, is that shield on gonna have? Sturdy? I can check easily in just a moment. And Dazzling Shell says, "Who saw the latest episode of the Pokemon series?" You mean like the uh, the TV or like the anime? I haven't. I haven't actually seen it in a long time. Just recently, I was showing one of my classmates Stack Attacka, and I looked up on YouTube and I saw the fact that Ash actually battled and caught Stack Attacka in you know the anime there, which was kind of interesting. Didn't keep it. I guess part of the uh, must be part of the series that they're trying to catch the Ultra Beasts to send them back to uh, their own worlds. Just kind of interesting. Good, cool, uh, good way to bring the Ultra Beast into the anime without actually breaking the game and giving, you know, certain characters an overpowered Pokemon. Alright, let's take down... I forgot we have Razor Leaf now. I was thinking it was like a Mega Drain. Don't bodyguard. I mean... It still does a lot. Now... If I fight here... As long as we don't miss. Actually, that takes both of them down. We might miss. I'll, I'll let one of them dodge. Just one of them. 
Never mind, we're gonna land a critical hit on one of them instead. Okay then. No mercy on the elderly. elderly. I'm sorry. I apologize. But that does get Steelix. You stole my spot, Pants here. Whatever. Alright. Let us go up. We're gonna have to deal with that Panseer ourselves. Now, can we... Wait, 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 wait. You don't have Sturdy. What does Shield do? Uh... Shield. The Pokemon can act as a decoy, prevent or protecting allies from enemy moves. Oh, I guess kind of like Bodyguard, I'm thinking. Alright then. So that means we can go over here, we can destroy it if we don't miss, and we should go elevate it up to the top. Mud Bomb. Hyper effective. Boom, there it goes. Until it's time, unless it's Poipol, says Dazzling Shell. Is that for like trying to send the Pokemon back? Alright, what do you think, Kai? Gonna take two banners? You can, we'll take them right back. Unless, I hope the Gust of Wind doesn't get us yet. That does some damage to them, though. Oh, that's a bad spot for that Carnivine to go. Well, we can send our. No, you know what? Whimsicott. If it's up on top of the tower, I know I don't want it to happen, but don't you think if the gust of wind happens, it should just completely disappear off the field? Because they're so light. They get blown around by the wind like crazy. Alright, before we take down the Carnivine, let us get ourselves back up on top. As long as we don't have, as long as we don't get blown off right away, we're taking all three banners next turn. Because we're taking down, yeah, 277. Down goes Carnivine. Not bad at all. Retreat is as important a battle strategy as any other. I mean, it's true. All right, what are you gonna do there? You can't do anything. You could have destroyed a tree if you wanted to, but whatever. Let us claim these banners. There's one, there's two, and there is three. Now, do we win right away? Yep. So victory is ours, it seems. It turned out just as we planned. That was a lot less dam or damaging, a lot less scary, and yeah, I guess damaging, than it was the main story when we did it. Got roasted indeed, Isaac Wolf, that poor Carnivine. Would he want to join us after that? I doubt it, but you never know. Nope. Okay, so, four of them retreated back to Elusio. The other two just went off somewhere. <laughs> They're like, we're not doing this anymore. Way too much damage. Alright, but we have claimed victory on Terrera. Save the game. And what can we do for the rest of our units for this month? I'll probably take a look and see if I can get any decent links with some of our less powered characters. Well, first of all, I do know I want to make sure our... Ah, you know what? There is no Ponigiri shop here in Fasalia, so we got to send... Actually, Oichi needs energy, too, for her Wigglytuff. So we're going to march them to the nearest Ponigiri shop. That is down in Pugilus? Nope, down here in Ignis. We're heading down there. And then I'll take a look at the other warriors that we have and see are there any better links for them. We know the Haunter. He already has a perfect link with Haunter. So we're going to let... Is it Saizo, I think? Keep that link going on there. But let's pop into the Pony Gear shop and eat some foods to get that energy back up. Wish you like the look of Wiggly Tough. I like the food, please. Energy level increased up to the yellow. So I want to give them another round of Pony Geary to get them into the uh, orange arrow, but that's for next month. So, who do we have left to work with? I know she's got a good link. Actually, the only one we need to work on getting a better link with would be our uh, Sasuke the ninja with the Charmander. Because he only has a potential 60% link. This guy here has got a maximum 100 with Haunter, so that's fine. And eventually we might see evolution into Gengar, perhaps? But this guy wants to link with a flying or fire Pokemon. Let's see if there are any fire or flying in the area. Let's just check all of the areas. It's too bad I can't use like an overview of all the different regions at one time, or all the kingdoms I need. Oh, uh, no, fire or flying right there. I know that's a bug kingdom, but there might be other species in there that don't relate to the kingdom typing. Not always, but sometimes you do see some different species. In fact, actually there's nothing here, one sec. I just want to take a look at our new kingdom. We have a farm, there's nobody here, there's a bank of course, Ponigiri, and a shop. 
We can make use of that stuff later, but for right now, do we have any fire or flying types here? Nope. We do have a guy with a Starly, but I'm looking for a wild Pokemon that we can link with. Now, of course, Ignis, home to fire type Pokemon, good potential here. We already tried linking him with a Zubat, I believe. So we're not going to do that this time. Sometimes a flying type in here. Nope, just a normal type. If there are no decent links for him, I might just send him to the gold mine to do some uh, digging and try to get some more gold. I've also realized, too, after I'm done all of everybody's turns for the month, I want to make sure their equipment is good in case they get attacked. Because last time that uh, when Pugilus was under attack, I didn't have a potion on Steelix. I don't think, anyway. I still had the, pow the uh, dumbbell to increase power. And that doesn't help you in a battle. It, uh... It's only good for outside battle, basically. So there's no potential decent links for the Charmander, which means what I'm going to do, I'm going to march our Scrafty up here to defend Rosalia. And is there a gold mine here? There is. We're just going to have everyone mine for gold, but let's make sure we have proper equipment. Uh, we got potions. I want to give someone the dumbbell. So who has the best power? Let's check the info. Uh, she's got power of 60, 80 for Saizo, 81 for Sasuke, so we're going to give him a V Dumbbell. Where is it at? Charmander, Dumbbell, boot. Increase him to 86 power. That could get us some decent gold. I did actually blow a bunch of my gold. Look, I've got two gold pieces right now because I spent, I spent money on a bunch of items and stuff to try to prepare for our future takeovers of Kingdoms. So let's just enter here and go gold mining. Now, this is not the kingdom we're trying to build up our gold mine app, but I want to make sure we stay defended here somewhat. Welcome, if it's gold you're seeking, yada yada yada. Alright, let's find as much as we can. That's not bad! A nice almost 1,000 gold. Okie dokie! And the link has improved. So now we're done. Technically, I would say that is today's playtime of Pokemon Conquest, but I'm not ending the stream after 20 minutes. We're skipping to the next month, and let's see what happens. All right, October of year one. Gracia is attacking Dragnor. Boy, she wants him out. The, she, he's gone. He's just completely out. Wow. Okay, that's one less, uh, you know, Warlord, basically, to worry about. Uh, Dazzling Shell learned in old, sorry, in learned Gen 5 that multiple old gâteaux are called old gâteaux. Or, it's also pronounced gâteau. That is French for cake, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not miscaken. Is that a good pun? No, that miscaken was a lie. Alright. Now, first of all, you guys need some more food in your belly. Does anyone else need to eat? Hang on, let's take a quick look around our kingdom. I might actually spend the rest of this month just making sure our energy is good. Well, these guys are all fine, actually. So let us pop in to the Pony Gear Shop once again and grab some foods. Which would you like, Spiritomb? I want the free stuff. We don't have a lot of gold. Energy level has increased. Awesome stuff. What's really funny. I think in the main playthrough, I once had one of the characters, he, he linked with the Charmander late into the game. They had one Ponigiri, and the Charmander evolved. And <laughs> a Charmeleon, just from eating one whatever it is. It's kind of crazy. Alright, now, do we push our luck and take Illusio? Let's... Well, if Kai doesn't have any other kingdoms, which it doesn't look like she does, I might be able to get them to join us. Let me see who they have. Once again, just refresh myself. Dazzling Shells Festival Plaza in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon is now at 95. Awesome stuff. Congratulations. Have I linked her with all those? I don't remember doing all that. Huh. All right, well. I can use Quagsire for super effective there. I can use Charizard again for super effective there. And the rest will just kind of destroy as we can. So, Charizard would be good against these two as well, the Joltik and the Beedrill. And actually, Quagsire will be good against the Larvitar and the Shieldon. But I want to bring probably a third Pokemon just for backup, just in case. So, look at the, look at, look, look at Beedrill's art right up here. I love 
Look at that. I just love the art in this game for some of the uh, Pokemon. Okay. Why am I hesitating? What do I... I gotta plan where to come from, basically. Hmm. Well, I do want to bring Quagsire, Charizard. I'm gonna move the other two out of there for now, just to see what our strength is looking like. Okay, you guys can head back to Pugilist for now. I'll rearrange later on. So we're looking at power of 525, they are 648, so we do want to bring another character. The best would probably be... I was thinking Kunoichi, but he's only good against half the things. Steelix, maybe? Steelix would be good against just the Larvitar, so maybe not. Um... This is a tough call. I want someone super effective. So let's actually take a look at it this way. Kunoichi, super effective against two of these. Uh, our Haunter is not going to be super effective against any of them, it looks like. Charmander would be good against one, two, three. Actually, we bring our Charmander guy. Hello to Nyx, Nyx Rider. Welcome to our stream tonight for some Pokemon Conquest. We're in post-game right now, completing one of the bigger post-game stories, where with uh, our army of Yukimura's, not really fire-type armor, but he's a fire-type warrior, trying to conquer all of the Rantai region once again. Trying to decide, how do we want to take Illusio now? Uh, so Charmander seems pretty good. We have potential Steel-type attack, which is only good against one of them. Said, uh, what about the Whimsicott? We've got some super effective only against one of them as well. So, as much as I don't want to bring someone who we're trying to find a better link for, I might bring the Charmander. But before I decide on that, let me see if there's a better link for him somewhere in these kingdoms, actually. That was Bug. We're looking for Flying or Fire type. Wild Pokemon that our uh, Ninja Sasuke can link with. Eh, those are not any of those types. Water, ground, no thank you. In here we see a couple of fighting dark types. I gotta remember, I can also use Violite and use the power... No, wait, the power plant's not in the post-game. Right. Because in the main story, we could go into the power plant and activate this power... Or go into Violite and activate a power plant, which brings more wild Pokemon in. Nothing he can link with there. Well, potentially he could link with it, but not a good potential one, so we're not going to bother. We do have a Starly here. I don't know if he's going to have a good link with Starly, but it is a flying type. I'd like to give it a try. In there. Did I just see a Krogunk? I think I saw someone with a Krogunk. And the last potential would be a Wild Magic Magikarp. So I am going to bring the Charmander down here to Aurora, because I'm going to have him try to link up. We'll do that afterwards. So as he goes down here, I guess that means Kunoichi is going to join us for the Onslaught versus Illusio. Because she is super effective against at least two of these other ones. Plus, I mean, we're bringing Charizard, we're bringing Quagsire. They're going to have some super effectivity on the main characters. Let's check our equipment, make sure we're good. Super Potion. Ah, I was hoping for another Super Potion. See, i got to buy more items. I guess we'll go regular potions for now. Could also pick up items in this battle here. That's why I want to sort of spread myself around in these kingdoms and fight other characters and get more prizes that way to try to boost up our item supplies. Alright, enough rambling. Let us jump on into Illusio and see if we can claim victory. So it's putting us at a strength of 730 versus 648. I think... No, I don't need a reinforcement. I keep hitting A by mistake. I'm going too fast. Am I ready to begin? Yep. Let's do this. Okay then, let's clear this one up quickly. Speaking of which, is my stream going good? I think it is. <laughs> Hopefully no more issues like the past little while will crop up. Alright. Luzio, 20 turns. This we didn't see in the main story. This was a kingdom we never got to fight, because at this point in the main story, once you beat either Illusio or Terrera, the other warlord joins you just because. So yeah, we've never seen what this place is all about yet. All right, it's a matter of claim all the banners. Ah, it's gonna be hard to maneuver around this area, though. 
Now, can Charizard fly across the open spaces? I hope so. Because... If, well, I can't even get into this blue portal yet. What am I thinking? Huh. I definitely want to try to get Charizard and Quagsire over there. But that requires the green portal, which we can't get to yet. So what we can do is kind of hang out and wait for this portal to change. Because after each turn, the portals will change. For right now, let's claim this banner while we're here. We're going to move up here, right beside the portal, and right over here. This is going to be a bit of a strategic game of chess, basically. We move ourselves to the right spots and hope it works out. So, Carnivine has claimed that banner. That is fine. You will gain HP by sitting on the banners, too, which is the uh, standard way to do it. I just realized, too, I'm thinking i got to beat them within four turns. I'm pretty sure if we just beat them with a super effective attack, the number of turns does not matter. So I'm trying to think, I gotta rush up there as fast as I can. If I'm correct, we can take our time. And as long as we hit them with a super effective move to knock them out, that's all it takes. So I guess, yeah, what I'll probably do, I'll let Kunoichi and Scrafty stay behind for the time being. And make sure no one claims the last banner. I think it's just a matter of claim all the banners um, don't let them get all four banners, essentially. Well, the blue portal is here right now. That doesn't help us. Can we... Ah, oh, just out of range. So we're going to wait here again. We've got, 20, we've got 19 turns left. This is no problem. Let's just uh, sit here for a bit. And if they try to come through a portal, I don't think... Well, they, they probably will be able to, but they're going to sit there. Hello, Unknown Exposer! Welcome to the stream tonight for some Pokemon Conquest. Trying to carefully maneuver ourselves around this really weird battlefield. Try and make our way to the enemies. And get some super effective knockouts, see if we can get them to join our kingdom. Alright, where are you heading to? Claim that banner, that is fine. And you're gonna hold tight? Yes, you are. Alright. What are you saying, Ina? You will not see Ina and Quagsire running and hiding. Let our warrior spirit pave the way to a glorious victory. Sounds good to me. So, we see a couple of bugs over there. I think that means Charizard is best to head in this green portal right now. It takes us over to that section. And for the rest of the moment, we're just going to wait. We're going to wait for a potential portal to take us elsewhere. Now, that Joltik could hit us with the Electro Ball. Flying-type Charizard will take a... Super effective hit, but don't think we're too worried. We got the super potion as well, if necessary. Where do you think you're headed, buddy? Trying to come our way to take our banner? Uh-uh. So they're going to sit tight. Okay. Look at this little pants here just maneuvering itself around the field. All right, go ahead. I can torch you easily. How much are you going to do? Eight. Yeah, not too worried about that. From here, we can simply 329 you. We can knock you out six times over. More than six times over. If we get a critical, even more so. All right, that is one down. The green portal now takes us uh, right up there. There's no floor to get across, though. What we need is a portal that directly links us to Carnivine. Now, if Charizard had jumped in, we could have done that. But it's kind of busy as it is. All right, and so we wait. Where are you heading there, Pantsuit? You're just... Are you moving back? Even they don't know how to work these portals. They're like, do I stay? Do I move? What's happening? All right, sorry to do this to you, Beedrill, but we gotta drop you. Speaking of drop... <laughs> that guy's in the wrong spot. All right, now can we hit... I think Beedrill is one space up. Actually, since we can't reach it yet, I'm going to grab this. Done, done, and done, says Dazzling Shell. And Isaac Wolf says, time to collect the ashes from Joltik. I didn't even pay attention. What did I just pick up? It was probably ashes. So we can send you here. And ouch. That is like about three times the damage necessary. Boom. Now, does the gift appear on that box? No, oh, I can pick it up. Might as well do that. 
We got 120 gold. All right. This poor bee drill. Oh, it's not going to be happy in a little bit. <laughs> going through the portal again. Yeah, they don't know where they're moving to. All right. So let's finish off the bee drill. These are neither of the main warlords that we want to recruit. That's what I forgot to check. I want to see how many warlords and warriors do I have. But I, that was a critical. That was way too much. But I think we have six warlords and three warriors, which is where I want to kind of hold things for the time being. All right, well, let's just keep this portal guarded. The blue takes us to the middle, but there's no platforms to step on to get from there. It's a game of waiting. Will those two portals from top to bottom ever connect us together? They might not. Unless it's random. It might just randomly determine where they go. So blue portal. No, it still takes us to the middle. Ah. All right, let's just claim this banner while we can. I don't know. Do I move up? I'm going to take a chance. We're going to move on to the platform. I'm going to hope that this portal in front of Quagsire moves us up there later. And we're just going to hold out here with Scrafty until we can find a better place to move to. So definitely Charizard wants to head up there next to try to take that Carnivine. Oh, I wonder if we can fly across. There's only two spaces. I'm going to go. I'm going to forget this item for now. I'm going to try to get a move on. The blue portal. No! Uh, I just gotta wait. If I walk in the portal, like this is gonna push me back, but if I walk into the portal, it would put me back on this platform anyway. Come on. It's Pokedex quiz time for me, but I'm kind of busy right now playing the game, but if anyone else wants to answer the question in the chat, go ahead. Okay, so move here, and if I'm lucky, I'll be able to fly across on the next turn. Green portal. Ah! I'm going to take a bit of a chance. I'm going to hope that she activates the platform. Actually, if she does that, that's not going to matter. Because, so if she steps here, the platform will move. And I can't hit her because i got to hit one space away. But I can move Quagsire over this way now, though, to go for that banner. So I think that might have been a good idea. All right, let's wait there. We've only got 12 turns left. One on the platform. No, you're going through the portal. Oh, come on. Don't go there. The green portal takes us back. Well, at least we can get this banner over here. We can fly across. And I don't want to knock the Panseer out with Charizard. I want a super effective move, so I'm going to I'm gonna let them take this banner. We still have one at the bottom. And I'm not going to leave. i got to keep someone here just to make sure we don't lose all of our banners. Go ahead. You can take that for now. We're going to get you later. Once we take the Carnivine down, like the more of their warriors we take down, the better, of course, we'll be. I can't quite hit you just yet, but we're getting close. The Quagsire moves here. The green portal takes us to the middle of nowhere, so forget that. This should bring us across, I hope. Yep, even though we're flying type, it does still work for us, which is great. And let's just wait here. <laughs> they're not moving either. They've claimed the banners and they're not going anywhere. Okay. Slow process. Next turn we can take down the carnival. Itchy noise. So I can get over there. Well, first of all, let's make sure we can take this thing down. Don't miss, please. Kind of limited on turns here, Quagsire. Yes, Shackle activates. Boom, we got the connect. No sturdy. Sweet. He 
can't help compete. Indeed. Okay. Since they're not going to move, I don't need to defend this anymore. I'm going to pop into this portal. We're going to head over to that platform. If we can get Quagsire over there to go for a super effective knockout hit, we can claim the banner with Scrafty to try to speed things up. We've got to hope the portal works out. Okay, what do we see? We see Orange Portal. Orange Portal! I hope it stays, because we've got to get the banner first, and then jump into the portal next time. I will grab this item, since we are here. That is 170 gold. Nice. I like the monies. And 305 on the Carnivine. This is the second time this Charizard takes down Carnivine. Kind of OP. Well, I'm okay with that. Hey, I like the like. I like the look of you, kinda. That I think means he wants to join us. I hope so. That'd be pretty sweet. I'll take more warriors to help defend the kingdoms. All right, come on, show me orange portal. No, the orange portal's in the middle. Green takes us back here. Tell you what, I'll come back this way. I might need to do some basic maneuvering to get the uh, platforms back. Hmm. So we're going to send Scrafty over here. Heart of mine is indeed toast, Sailor Pika. Indeed, thanks for noticing. Not that it was uh, hard to see. 200 more gold. Can you flame burst me from there? Aww. Meanie. I didn't even touch you yet. It's coming soon. Alright, let's claim the banner since we're here. Now we see orange. Yes! Excellent! The portal connects. I was thinking I'd have to take the long path around using these, uh, the platforms. Alright, well, we're just going to stare you down. As soon as Quagsire can move into position, we're dropping this pants here. Okay. How far can you move, Quagsire? Not quite far enough. We only got crack shot, so that's not going to help us. We'll move here, I guess. We're going to wait once again with Kunoichi and Charizard. Come try to join in the fun. Not that Charizard didn't do its part. Took down Carnivine quite nicely. All right. First of all, let's go for the super effective. I'm going to make sure we land the hit. Crack shot, activate. This will decide the victor. 56. That's not a knockout? I thought we were going to knock it out. Oh. Well, I guess we've got to wait another turn. I hope we don't miss. Turns out I can't fly across from there, so we're going to wait for the portal to change, I guess. All right, we got three turns remaining. I don't think that HP is going to help you too much. Flame burst if you like. Watch how little it does. Yes, hello, unknown spike. My phone is pretty much fried. It's just that it won't connect to the computer. It still somewhat plugs in and charges, so I am still able to play Pokemon Go to send out some gifts, but it's not reliable, so I had to hold off on the live stream last night. But I am in line to get a new phone kind of soon, so hopefully all will work out. So for right now, let's see. You know, you're pretty good. I gotta hand it to you. I think that means she wants to join in. Alright, let's claim the banner. That took a while. This was just fate. Don't blame us for what can't be helped. That's right! That's what was destined to happen, you know? Alright, I mean, we could have done that better if we had more characters to work with, but we did fine as it was. Okay. I didn't even notice this too, but look how much bigger Yukimura's little ball between itself, or himself and Charizard looks to the others. I guess because of the 51% as opposed to 38 something. Now, who wants to join us? I'm looking forward to getting some more people. Everybody wants to join us. Look at that. Of course, what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the two gold background warlords and choose the best one of the other four remainders. That's called planning. That's called strategic maneuverability. And I didn't even realize, too, I can send the new characters... No, I can't. Because we've got enough space here to hold three more people. Ah, but as I was going to say, I could have sent more people down to Terraria to uh, defend that. So, let's see. She has a 90% with her uh, 
pants here, of course. He's got 90% with Carnivine, so we're going to take both of them. And who else do we see? It said that we had someone recruited with... Oh, they're all just basic. They don't have any uh, max connections just yet. Let's check the warrior's skills. This guy... I'm looking for basically power, wisdom, or charisma in the 80s to uh, see who can better benefit our kingdoms. Thank you, Isaac Wolf. Thank you, Sailor Pika, for the Charizard hat and the lab coats. Awesome stuff. I forgot. I was going to mention something, too. Look at this guy. Wisdom 94. I think he's our best bet. He likes to link with fire and ground types. Haven't seen anything that he can link with just yet. We're going to grab these three and let the others go free, basically. But I will say, my initial plans were to get a Pokemon X playthrough beginning on Monday. Um... I'm going to tell you more about this on Monday because I've got a backup plan, but essentially, I cannot do Pokemon X just yet. There's a bit of a uh, problem, and I'll explain that once something else begins on Monday, but uh, rest assured, if I'm able to get Pokemon X going at some point, I'm going to do that. Just uh, hold out for that, basically, but I'm going to have another cool thing coming up to sort of tie us over until if and when Pokemon X will work for us. So I'm sorry to have gotten your hopes up about going through the 6th uh, generation. But we'll get to it at some point, I'm sure. It's just a matter of time. But I'll, again, I don't want to get into too much of it right here. We're almost done for our Conquest stream. But Monday, I'll go into more detail. Thanks a lot. I won't disappoint at your service. I'm much obliged to you. I shall gladly go with you. Alright, they've been defeated and forced to retreat. What's this? Hey, hey, looks like we picked up a friend or two. Never headed in the right direction. A eh, Pants here? The energy of all partner Pokemon has increased. Did that just max us all out? Hello, Foxtail Comics. Welcome to our stream for the evening. How is it going? And Dazzling Shell says you uh, you got a new record on mas uh, Master Rank Mantine Serpent Course. Oh, not a new record, but you're close to coming back for the finals. Congratulations. Not bad. Keep keep working away, getting those uh, Mantine moves under your belt. And Sailor Pika says, it's okay, we can wait for Pokemon X. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's it's one of those things, you know, out of my control, sadly, right now. But I'll explain more as we get uh, closer to that. But look, it did max out all of our energy. Thank you, Kai. Kai? It is Kai, right? Yeah. Is it? Sure. Why did I get confused? Yeah, Kai was the warlord. All right. So we got six there in Illusiel. I want to be, uh, boof up. <laughs> I want to boost up our defenses in Pugilist. We're going to march... I'm uh, going to march our Haunter over that way. I'm going to... I kind of want to keep getting more gold. So what I want to do... I'm going to send our Whimsicott to Terrera as well. I do want to try to link up with a Starly, perhaps. I'm going to keep... Sasuke where he's at. And the other two have eaten their pony Geary. Wait, if I knew that Kai was gonna boost all of her energies up. That's not Kai, is it? Is Kai up here? That was Kai. I'm so sidetracked. I can just check the info, but clearly I don't want to do that. Uh there's no gold mine here. I kinda wanna have our Steelix boy do the gold mine, because he has the best power on our team. Yeah, so for now. Who had the dumbbell? Is it this guy? No. Dazzling Shell, that's Sloth from the Goonies, correct? Hey, you guys! That was awesome. The Goonies was awesome. Who here has... Well, okay, here... Here who? Bleh. Who here has seen the movie The Goonies from way back in, like, what? 1980... I don't know. Goonies was awesome. If you have not seen Goonies, watch the Goonies. It was a cool, it was like a coming of age story about a few youngsters who, uh, no, it was actually a pretty cool action adventure kind of movie. But it was like the kids were the characters, which was really cool. Alright, wait, let's equip the dumbbell. I might as well finish off all the rest of the characters for the month, too, just to get it over with and see what we can accomplish together. What's our goal at? 1580. So once I hit 2,000 gold, I am going to want to boost up our gold mine. I might spend a few months, which means in real time a few days, just working on building up our kingdoms a bit. But we'll keep on doing the live streams here, because you guys seem to still be enjoying Conquest, and I'm not looking for a reason to stop doing Conquest. I love playing Conquest. I just want to make sure that we're not uh, we're not being 
I don't want to be too boring for you guys, too repetitive. Now we're going to enter. We're going to hit that gold mine. Now, I've noticed... See the uh, experience bar beneath level 1? It's gone, it's gone down. So I think you have to continuously keep working at certain locations to build them up. It's not just a matter of, I'm going to build it to like partway, and it stays there. I think it starts to dwindle down. So I want to keep my eye on that. So I definitely want to have one dedicated gold miner the entire time. Let's give it a try. Let us begin. Come on. Ah, 391. That's not bad, though. If I can get another... What's that? 29 gold pieces? Then next month, I can have my main guy come back, go to the bank, throw 200 gold into the gold mine. So Pika has watched Goonies many times. Great movie indeed. I like Data's uh, gadgets and stuff like that. That was cool. Anyone that does not know what I'm talking about has not seen Goonies, and you don't know how how versatile, how useful Data was. All right, let's pop in here. See if we can link with Starly. If not, we're gonna try and grab some items, some gold maybe. There's an item. I also want to try and knock the trees down because you can get stuff out of that too. And we got ten turns to go. Now, first of all, let's activate Charmander and take a look. That's only a silver link, so never mind that. But let's grab this potion. I can use more potions. They come in handy, of course. And don't attack that tree, Meowth. It's my tree. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to dig in that dirt. There's a little dirt pile down here by the bottom of the map. I think... Yeah, Charmander has like an extra space of movement than the Starly. It's kind of crazy that Charmander outspeeds Starly. Charmander digs up another potion. This is a great place just to uh, grab items. Oh yeah, Starly can fly over buildings. That's cool. Now, we can't quite reach the trees just yet. We're going to head over this way anyways. Uh, yeah, Starly's probably going to get a hit on us, but that's fine. We got a potion if we need it. And where are you going, Meowth? Meowth is running away. A whopping six damage. What is our warrior ability? Bustle. Increase the range. We don't need that just yet. Oh, I got it. Right, Ember is a distance attack. Alright. Let's burn the tree down. What do we get? We got another potion. Sweet. My heater's too hot. I'm going to turn it down. There we go. Dazzling Shell says, who remembers this? Make it all bazas? I don't really care. It's going to be a draw. It's going to be a baza draw. Admittedly, I have no clue what that is. Can we take you down? We better start getting some of these Pokemon. Try to take them down here. Oh, I wanted to burn. Oh, well. Uh, excuse me, Meowth. What do you think you're doing? You're fury swiping, obviously. That's no problem. Do that. You know, our back was itchy. Thanks for the scratch there. Thanks for the massage. Appreciate it. Alright, let's take the Starly down. So we have less damage coming our way. And we need another two turns to take down Meowth. So I guess we should focus on getting the Meowth down before we run out of time. Alright, Fury Swipes. Two damage. Two more damage. Again, this comes to a part where it's like, I feel like I'm just reading what's on screen. You can see what's happening. I can say that I did record our Pokemon TCG pre-release tournament footage today. We had the tag, sorry, the team up expansion. Yeah, the burn, sweet. And I'm not going to spoil it, but I did open my own pre-release pack of, you know, the booster packs and such. I did pretty good for cards. I'm going to record, I've recorded, I'm going to try and edit the video. Maybe I can get it up for tomorrow, but if not, I'll try to have it up on Monday at the latest. But watch for that. I did pretty well as far as the uh, the polls go. All right, let's finish off this Meowth. And can we see evolution into Charmeleon, maybe? That'd be cool, even though we don't have a potential perfect link with our Charmeleon here. I wouldn't say no to a Charmeleon. we got three more potions for all of our hard work. No evolution just yet. Okay, that's fine. And no link there with Starly. So, the only thing left to do, we could probably just go in here. I should, if I want to keep building things up, I should go to the shop and Ponygiri. 
Wait, no one wants to eat right now, so we can't do that. Hello to Luke. How's it going, Luke, for the, uh... How's it going for the evening? Well, how's it going, basically? Welcome to our Pokemon Conquest stream. We're getting kind of close to the end of it here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send Haunter into the shop. And I'm going to send Whimsicott to deal with all of these water ground types. I think that is a good idea. So, before we go into the shop, I'm going to equip the Magic Mirror. I think I got one. On our Haunter Man. Jam again, Saizo. We do have a Magic Mirror, do we not? Ah, uh, we do want to get one of those. Does nobody have that? I thought I had one. Let me just check all of my warriors and see, do I have it equipped on someone by mistake? And actually, did any of our new recruits come in with anything? They did not, okay. Who would have the magic mirror? It wouldn't be... I think it's Oichi, actually. There we go. Yep, I thought so. I gave... Actually, I gave her back the Jigglypuff charm. I had to send her into a shop at one point, so I gave her that charm temporarily. I gotta remember, every time I use an item, I gotta unequip it and give them back a potion, just so that I don't forget where all of my items are. No! Don't enter! Calm down, Professor! Let's do it this way. Alright, back to the equipment. I'm gonna give you the magic mirror. Basically what I'm doing there... If their charisma is higher, you can sell items for more gold, and you can also buy things for cheaper. So I'm going to try to make sure we have the best possible charisma that we can get. 73. But the best we can do with who we have remaining. Alright, first of all, let's sell items that we do not need. I picked up a pretty cord. That can be sold for 230. Hey, that's kind of what we needed. I don't want to sell the Dawn Stone. No, keep that. And... Glad to hear that you're doing good there, Luke. You're able to catch the stream. Awesome stuff. We're almost near the end of it, but still got a little bit of time left to do here. Some, some action. I want to keep these in case we find ourselves a good alchemist that we can actually build better items for. But I could probably... I could sell the power wristband. I don't really... Since they can break, I don't really use those. And plus, with all the super effective attacks that we're getting out there, I don't really think we need extra power. So I can sell that. Harmony Flute, increasing the link. I think, I don't know for sure, but I think this is kind of like experience share. So that if I want to build up the link between a warrior and their Pokemon, I have them hold the Harmony Flute. I think they gain a little bit extra link percentage after the battle is done. Metal Mirror, I'm going to keep that because it reflects back damage, and these are all things to keep it as well. Anything else that we do not need? I think we're good for him. So we've got 2373 gold. Let's just see what they have for sale here in this shop. Potions and super potions. I can buy those later. Uh, that's all basic stuff. Cup link. Well, I don't really have that many linking potential to do. A metal mirror and a shard of Tome. I've got one of each of those. I guess we're good. I'm gonna leave for now. That should at least get a little bit of experience on the shop. I hope. Maybe it increases next month. But anyway, for the last thing we're doing for tonight, we're going to pop in here with our Whimsicott, and we are going to destroy all of these Quagsires. Oh, whooper. Same battlefield, too. Now, I'm not going to spend... Actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? I forgot we have Razor Leaf. I can take two trees down. Easily. Watch this. Attacking wild... This field's kind of bad. We're sending a grass type to destroy trees. Hmm, does that seem wrong to anybody else? We got nothing for it. All right. Great, we just massacred a forest for no reason. And you stole the only item on the field! Ah, eh. oh, they're not lined up. So I would have liked them to line up. Yeah. All right, let's take down this one here. 126! That's a knockout. Resolif. Nice. I never thought I'd meet anyone as powerful as you, so he probably wants to join us, but we're kind of good for uh, the characters we have. I like keeping it limited. It's not that hard to keep track of. Like, if I have too many characters, I can't really keep track of. You just dodge Water Gun. And it makes it a little bit more interesting that the characters stand out more than... Like, if I, like when I was doing the main story, I had probably a couple dozen basic warriors, and I couldn't keep track of who was who, basically. So we're going to pop over here. Kick, uh, pick up the item and look at the damage 229 on that one in the front ouch that 
That's a quick win right there. Boom, and we pick up 90 gold. Nice. All right, and a little bit of a link bonus there after 34%. 206 strength. I love the gold. So yeah, we can recruit him, but we got plenty of people as it is. What is his? Oh, look, it's a 100% Charizard guy. I mean, I could probably find him again later on, but we already got a Charizard. I know it can only max at 90%, but that's cool. We'll see you again somewhere. I It'd be really cool if he would have that Charizard next time we see him in, call it in the wild, basically. All right, so what we're going to do, I am going to finish right here. I'm going to skip to the next month. I'm going to save it. I just want to see what happens. We might get attacked, actually. And I want to do that while we're here together. Let's see how November starts off. Wow, y Yukimura's army sure got bigger. Big enough to stamp out, I'd say. Excuse me? Are you really doing this? Something tells me that soon enough we will have to see off Yukimura's army. You guys are talking big for people that own less than half the continent. Yukimura's army is getting to be really first rate. Guess we gotta do something about it. <laughs> this is kind of cool though. They're all gearing up against me. I bring news. It would appear that the enemy forces are readying themselves to face us in battle. We must prepare to face them, Lord Yukimura. Enemy forces are rising up against Yukimura's army. Does that mean they're going to be sort of ganging up against us? They might not be fighting each other anymore. All right, so let's, before we end off, we're going to take a little stock of the region. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine kingdoms out of 17. So we have passed the halfway point. We are, I guess technically 8.5 would be halfway, so we've hit nine. We own the majority of this continent. We've got, uh, what is it? Hanbei, Hanbei. Oh, so Hanbei and Hanbei, so they got two. Munashige has three kingdoms, and Gracia has three kingdoms. So, this is where things are going to be a little bit more tricky, because... See, if I... Later on in the next stream, if I go from Terrera into here, then... I don't know. Yeah, see, Yaksha can attack Terrera. Let me just do a little bit. I'm going to see. So, Terrera can be attacked from Kragspur and Yaksha. And Elusio can be attacked from Avia and Kragspur. So, I might need to try to take two kingdoms in one go. I don't know what the best play is. Like, what I'm going to have to do, probably, say, I'll bring some people from Terrera take over Yaksha and then I'll bring another group from uh, I'll probably march another group to Terrera and take over Kragspur and I'll leave Elusio defended. Essentially as soon as we can do these two kingdoms, take them over, I can then take over Viperia and Avia and these two will be the frontline kingdoms. So that's going to be for another stream. I like this. This this is like risk. You gotta plan out what's your path. How are you gonna minimize your borders? How many you know? Minimize how many offensive forces are gonna come your way. In fact, let me take a look. So once let's okay. Once I take Kragspur, it could be attacked by Avia, Viperia. Viperia could attack Yaksha as well. And Avia can attack Elusio and Kragspur. Okay, so. Yeah, we only need to fear two kingdoms once they take Kragspur and Yaksha. Alright, I think I got a bit of a game plan, but that's going to be for uh, another time. We're going to try to build up our kingdom a little bit between now and the next stream, which might be probably a few days away, and continue our adventures in the post-game. I kind of like... So, let me... Are you guys enjoying this? Because I, I have no problem continuing the Conquest live streams and seeing what all the post-game stories are going to be like. It might, instead of just conquering king kingdoms, there might be different story elements that happen. Uh, like, I understand, apparently, that in Hideyoshi's post-game story, he has a chance, or he links with a legendary Pokemon. So, there could be some, you know, link-based events in the post-game. 
So if you guys are enjoying this, let me know either in the chat or drop a comment down below if you're watching this after the live stream. And like I said, I am happy to continue this. I do have another side game planned out to uh, begin a live stream eventually once this one kind of runs its course. So I have no shortage of things coming up for other content, just so you know. But again, stay tuned on Monday. I'm going to set up for another sh uh, series beginning, a uh, pre-recorded series coming up. And... It's not going to be Pokemon X just yet due to technical issues, and again, I'll describe those as we get into it, but it's going to be interesting regardless. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. Uh, Isaac Wolf saying, who is excited for Gen 8? We may see Pokemon never seen before. Well, yeah, like basically, we're pretty much guaranteed that Meltan and Melmetal are going to be Gen 8 Pokemon. I am excited. This year, I definitely got to get myself a Switch and prepare for the uh, Switch Pokemon main series game. It's going to be very cool. And Isaac Wolf says, keep the keep up the good work. Thank you. And yes, Sailor Pika is also enjoying the Conquest playthrough. So, like I say, I have no problem continuing having fun with this game. But for the time being, we're going to end off for the stream. Thanks again for uh, hanging out here, folks. I'm glad you're enjoying the adventure as much as I am. And if you have not played this game, see if you can get yourself a copy of Pokemon Conquest. It is fun. You know, it gets... Frustrating at times when the uh, attacks miss all the time, as you saw when it took on Avia, but it's also part of the uh, fun, I guess, random chance. But it's a good game. I recommend it. So for the time being, we're going to end off. Not sure what we're going to do for tomorrow, but I might be able to do our Wonder Trade session for Ralts, the remainder of the Ralts that we have in the box. I'm still trying to top it up from the Wi-Fi battle session as well, so we might be able to do the Wonder Trading for that tomorrow evening. And for channel members that have a working 3DS, I'm pretty sure Isaac Wolf said yours is not working, but channel members who have a 3DS, we're going to be doing our members exclusive Pokemon giveaway, which was Reverse GTS initially. It's going to be a little bit different, and I'll describe the new format on that stream on Tuesday night. So mark your calendar, set your clocks, come on back Tuesday to get the special Riolu that I've been breeding up in Pokemon Ultra Sun for you. But yes, that's going to be it for tonight, so thank you folks again for hanging out and spending your time with Professor Chaz, even through all of my technological issues and hardships. I'm glad you're still here with me. And I'm going to be posting on Instagram and Twitter, as soon as we're done here, a couple little short Pokemon Go videos where I'm highlighting all the lucky Pokemon I've gotten so far in the game, and all of my shinies as well, just a brief little kind of scroll through my list, just in case anyone's curious. Those will be up in probably about a half hour at most. All right, so again, thank you for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off. Have yourselves a good evening, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. I also want to make myself that cool little outro video I keep talking about but never doing. I'll get to that someday. All right, have a good evening, and we'll catch you all later. <laughs>